Early voting has already begun in the May 7th elections, and if you plan to vote by mail, this story is for you. In the last election, nearly 4,000 Bear County voters had their mail ballots rejected, meaning those votes that they cast did not count. Election officials are trying to make sure that doesn't happen again. Garrett Berger tells us how. As the mail ballots rolled into the Bear County Elections Department for the March 1st joint primary, the rejected ballots began to pile up. It was like a tsunami. The biggest issue was over a new requirement from the controversial state voting law, Senate Bill 1. When voters send their mail ballots back now, they have to put an ID number associated with their voter registration under the flap of this carrier envelope. Many people missed it entirely or they wrote the wrong one. For example, putting down their driver's license number when they were registered under their social security. There was just a lot of confusion with this. Even after efforts to get voters to fix their issues, nearly 22% of mail ballots were ultimately rejected. Bear County Elections Administrator Jackie Callan says in previous elections, that would normally be just 2 to 3%. It's tough that um, that's not who we are. So Bear County Elections officials are trying to be proactive, putting information on the changes prominently on their website, and including this insert in the mail ballots they send out, reminding the voters to write in their ID numbers, preferably both of them. We're asking for both numbers because then we stand a better chance depending on which one we have on file. So far, Callan says things are already looking better this time around, and she hopes they can get below a 5% rejection rate. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.